Welcome back to Mass Appeal. If you thought that your dog may just have what it takes to be the best in show, you've got a chance to prove it in the upcoming weeks. Darcy Brown's president of the Pioneer Valley Kennel Club. She's brought her little pooch, Mabel, and junior showman Diana Chan are here to tell us about an upcoming event for the AKC. Thank you so much for coming on the show it's great today. Great to be here. Thank I think you. your, your two dogs are getting a little yeah. friendly with each other, too. <laughs> that is nice. How does the Pioneer Valley Kennel Club help dog owners everywhere? Well, we run training classes on a regular basis from puppy kindergarten for as old as Mabel all the way up to older dogs and into competition level as well, too. What kind of dog are, are both of these? Because Mabel is so This is cute. Mabel. She's three months old. Mm -hmm. She's a Havanese. Havanese. They're originally from Cuba. Is that kind of like a Bichon? They're related, <laughs> In yes. In the same mm -hmm. family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this is um, Zephyr. She's a pointer. <laughs> She's just adorable. <laughs> and how, if people want to get involved in Kennel Club events, how can they do that? Well, they can do it several ways. They can visit our website at www.pioneervalleykennelclub.org, and that'll tell them a little bit about our organization and what we have to offer in the area. And they can also go to www.akc.org, mm -hmm. which has a vast array of uh, resources for people to get started in dogs, learn about their dogs, and, and make connections with training clubs and kennel clubs and events that are going on all around the country. Speaking of events, you have a great one coming up in a few weeks. Tell us all about the dog. Yes, show. it's actually next Saturday. Uh, we hold it on the grounds of the Greenfield Community College. And it will be not all of the 170 breeds that the AKC has registered, mm -hmm. but a good percentage of them. And we'll have a breed competition, which is what you see on TV like at Westminster. Or like that movie Best in Show. Yes, like everyone, Best in Show, I, yes. I can only yes. assume when people talk to you, they say, uh, make, make a Best in Show joke. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> That's a Christopher Guest movie, for those yeah. of you who don't know. Very, very funny movie. Yes, it's a great movie. And, and, and not untypical of some of the things <laughs> really? that happen. Yes, we have a lot of fun. Um, what I'm always interested, though, is you see that what everybody knows is mm -hmm. the walking around in the circle, sure. but there mm -hmm. are a lot of other events and things to do there. Absolutely. We'll have a competition rally, which you'll see in a little bit. We'll also have obedience level competition, and we have some special events going on as well, too. We have what a new sport. It's called tri-ball. 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 It's basically, you've heard of herding, yes. like border collies do, but without the sheep. They really? use big exercise balls, and the dogs have to move them around <laughs> through a course. Lots of fun. That'll be there. And then we're also going to have a group called the Pom Poms, <laughs> a new sport. I don't know if you watch the um, Britain's Got Talent. No, I haven't. Well, a young woman who won that uh, competition with her dog did what they call freestyle, which is dancing with your dogs. <laughs> no way. Yes, absolutely. And <laughs> she's also a member of the Junior Kennel Club over in, uh, in England as well too. But we're going to have an exhibition from a poodle team that are going to do drill, time, drill team type of mm -hmm. events. And real quick, mm -hmm. you have to admit, uh, Diana, you are a member of the Junior Club and it's so important to get youth involved. Just why is mm -hmm. it so important and why do you do it? Um, well, it's great for um, learning about sportsmanship, good sportsmanship, and mm -hmm. learning about dogs in general. Um, gaining knowledge and learning how to take care of them and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank the two of you for stopping by, but we are not done yet. Make sure you head down to the AKC Dog Show next weekend, Saturday, August 4th. The event begins at 11 a.m. on the Greenfield Community College campus, and it's sure to be a great day of dapper dogs and precious pups, but we're not done on Mass Appeal quite yet. We are going to the dogs all day long, and now we're going to show you how you can teach your dog, old dog, new tricks and we're joined by Eric and Sheila. Thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to be here. So, Hi. yes, Go ahead. We, we're going to start with this pup, right, who is absolutely adorable. Right. Um, Mabel, I guess, has not had any training, so I thought it should be a good idea to show how to do some basic training with a puppy that doesn't know anything. Okay. Should I put her down on the ground? Um, well, just one second. Okay. Well, the big thing first is you have to find a treat that the dog is interested in. If the dog's not interested in a treat, you not going to get her attention. Yeah. They're uh, food motivated, much like much. humans, I think. A bit. So now you can put her on the floor. <laughs> okay, here you go, Mabel. Okay, so one of the basic things you want to teach a puppy is to sit, just a nice manner. So we're going to show her the food, and we're going to at, put it above her nose, mm -hmm. and then back. And we're just going to say, as we do that, Mabel, sit, sit, good sit. Without touching her, she has sat. And so by putting the food above her nose, you're forcing her into a sitting we're position. We're not forcing her, we're forming her. I, okay. I didn't, if I wanted to force her, I'd be pushing her, but I'm actually asking her and showing her. Okay. So, so you're forming her into a seating position. Right. So <laughs> I'm showing her the food, and we're just going to say, Mabel, sit. 
And something sit. like this, can Good. you do it in sit. a week, a month, a year? How it long do you think? It depends a little like bit on the dog. Um, a lot of times, if you've got a really well motivated dog, like a lab that loves to eat, mm -hmm. Mabel. Puppy, hey, puppy. Mabel. We have food over here. Puppy, puppy. <laughs> oh, Mabel's uninterested. Maybe right. we'll move on to more we'll adult move on dogs to, now. To, so, Basic training uh, can start with a puppy like Mabel, or mm -hmm. you can, if you have an older dog, you can do that as well. And again, it's food motivated mostly and praise. Okay? So Eric, who do you have here? Uh, Freya. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What kind hey. of dog is Freya? Uh, she's a Siberian Husky. Very cool. So what are we going to do with her? We're going to show some basic things. We'll do a little bit of a rally course as well. Rally is a fun sport people can do. It's obedience, but it's not so strict. And you can talk to the dog, praise the dog. The dogs have a little bit more fun with it. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll show a little bit about that. But again, one of the tips I like to do is I like to be able to show the dog I'm going to train it now. So I normally leave a, what we call a buckle collar on my dog when she's just being a dog. Mm -hmm. When I'm going to ask her to train, I normally will use a nice, smooth, soft nylon collar. Okay? So that you can be firm without hurting her. Firm without hurting her, but we don't use that. We more use it as a guide, not as a, not as a punishment. Or restraint or, or a punishment. Okay? okay. All right. And so I take off the buckle collar, I put that on, and she goes, oh, I've got different clothes on, just like if you go to a party. You're dressed up in your big boy pants and you're right. going to act like a big boy. I got act you. like a big boy. So now she's got a cue that, hey, okay, we're going to do something like this. I got to listen to mom. Okay. So one of the things, um, again, one of the things we like to teach, especially with a Siberian, Siberians are known for running off. I start my puppies very young, um, but you can do it with an older dog, is a recall. And we show them the food and we just say, Freya, come. And we ask them to come. I don't ask that she's going to sit because she's been taught to, uh -huh. but I, you always want to grab the collar and then the food. So that you're in control. Not only that, but you see all those dogs dancing around their owners when they've called them come? Yes. And they, the dogs are dancing on a... The dogs never learn that they're going to be... You know, I understand. So they learn that when I come, oh, that's the fun part because mm -hmm. I just fed you. That's true. Everybody wins. Right. But well, hey. if I get my food mm -hmm. when I sit now, now... I get You've the taught reward. the behavior. Right. Well, thank you so, so much. Unfortunately, we have to get moving a little bit, but don't worry because Mass Appeal is going to the dogs all day long. Don't change that channel because we've got more dogs doing some wild things. We're going to be watching them take high jumps, performing a rally race. You do not want to miss this.